Okay, here I am spinning on my shot ladybug. And I'm spinning for my good friend Shannon that I met online. So, hi Shannon. And I'm spinning this for her as a heavy worsted to Aran weight yarn, singles yarn. I'm going to dye it after it's being spun. This is a super fine merino. So soft. I love it. Now this is a bit of a challenge for me because I'm a natural lace spinner. But I was glad to do this because it's something I've been wanting to do. Spin up a singles yarn and add a worsted weight. So I'm having to treadle a bit more slowly than I normally do. Using a much bigger whorl than I normally do. But I think it's coming out pretty nice. I'm pretty satisfied with it so far. Now, every now and then you're going to see me checking the thickness of the yarn with my little control cord down here. See, I'll do it right now. Make sure I'm spinning to about oh, 10 to 11 wraps per inch. Even though I want my finished yarn to be about 8 or 9 wraps an inch. I'm spinning it to 10 and 11 so that after it's washed it will bloom up to an 8 or 9 wrap, wraps per inch. And I learned that little trick the hard way. After having wanting to spin a two or three ply worsted, I spun it to I spun the singles to about probably 24 wraps an inch, thinking, oh well that'll give me a nice 12 wrap per inch worsted weight, right? Wrong. Ended up with a chunky yarn after being washed and the fibers bloomed and fluffed up. So I know better now. Here you're going to see me joining up the fiber, which is really not hard at all. You just overlap it like that, and you just start spinning. And you let the twist take it. And it just joins up really nicely. Easy peasy. thickness again. Right on. Every now and then I like to step back and admire <laughs> my handiwork. I think it's coming out pretty nice. Let's see if I can get a good close-up shot. There we have it. Woo! Mm-hmm. <laughs>